Here on this Tobacco University video, we're going to go over soil test report target values to get you an idea of what this actually means. So if you've gotten a soil test report back, you might see this kind of green area here. Uh, that is usually your target area. Um, some people call it, some labs will call it medium, some will call it optimum, uh, but that's kind of the target. We don't want to be up here, and we'll explain why you don't want to be over that or under that, why that's the goal area to be. Well, the goal, as I said, there is to be in the optimum area. So some growers think excessive is the target, but this is false. Optimum is the best. Having excess amounts of certain nutrients can impact the availability of others and result in reduced growth. Balanced nutrients allow for the optimum growth of a plant. Now the example or picture here of a mountain, if you think about climbing up the mountain, you're getting more and more yields, people think it's gonna go on forever. But if you keep going, reach that optimum or that peak, that's where you wanna be, but if you keep walking, you're gonna go down this other way and start to reduce your yields when you get into toxicities or conflicting um, levels with other nutrients. So common misconception here, if you look at this nice uh, graph here, I think it helps explain this in the sense that if there are more nutrients than the plant needs, it can just take what it needs, and that's a false statement. Uh, this is a common misconception that growers just want to like, uh, I'll give it some more, and if it doesn't need that much, it'll just ignore that. And plants really don't have that option. Plants are not a kind of uh, buffet nutrient concentrations. They impact many chemicals. Uh, reactions over adding what will offset this balance. So also too much nutrients can cause potential environmental contamination, not to mention wasted time and money. Uh, so it's not just kind of that, eh, give it a bunch of nutrients, a buffet, and it'll kind of like pick out what it needs. Now you want to be fertilizing your crops and your plants to be in this optimum range. If you go in this above optimum range, well, you're not getting any more yield, you're wasting time, you're wasting money, and potentially you could be reducing yield and also increasing the odds of environmental contamination, all not good things. So adding more and getting less, I kind of like this general concept, and I think this graph kind of shows it for when you're adding, uh, over adding fertilizer can have detrimental impacts, uh, in addition to just increasing cost to the grower. Uh, it also increases the chance for environmental contamination and can also reduce yields. And here we see the soil test levels and the theoretical yields, and we see very low, low, medium, high here going through, and we're getting to that kind of maximum yield. This is where we're applying maintenance fertilizer. Basically, we're fertilizing the plants with the plants are removing. Previous to this stage, we're kind of adding a little bit more than the plants can uptake because we're trying to build up that concentration in the soil. However, then we get to a point where we want to apply no fertilizer, because if we go much beyond that to the excessive range, well, we start to get detrimental effects. We start to get toxicity issues. We start to get reduction in yield uh, for adding more fertilizer. So again, this optimum rate is what makes growing a little bit of a challenge in the sense, how close can you be within that range? Now, lastly, the target should be the critical level. So you might hear growers talk about critical level, and this is basically indicated here, and also generally basically right here. And the critical level is the level at which adding more fertilizer will not increase yield. At that point, you've now crossed over the sterile test value, you're going above that, you're not gonna get any more yield. Now the optimum range is a range, not a number. The critical level is more so a number, the optimum range here will be a little bit above that critical level. And just in case you, you can overshoot by a little bit, that's fine. But if you get above optimum, well now you've overshot too far. And if you get excessive, you could get into toxicity levels. So again, there's this optimum range where you're basically applying maintenance fertilizer. You're, if you get into that kind of above optimum, you're applying no fertilizer because you just have excessive amounts of nutrients. So it's important for growers to realize when they're at the very low, low and medium categories, adding more fertilizer will increase their yields, but it's not a linear line forever. Once you reach that critical soil target level, get into optimum range, you're then shifting to only applying maintenance fertilizer. If you keep fertilizing at the rate you were, you'll get into that very high toxicity levels and potentially reduce your yields and potentially contaminate the environment. Both negative things that you can avoid by realizing and knowing these target levels.